This is Debuff, and I'm your host, Steve Skeels. Check, check. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, in, we're in the mix now. We're definitely mixing. Um, okay, everything's recording. Hey, hey, we're in the mix. Welcome. Welcome back. back. Uh, episode 99. That's pretty crazy. The next one will be ne- uh, 100, you know? Um, how's it going? It's going pretty well, man. Been uh, big chilling a lot recently. How about y'all? Uh, dude, I've been playing. I've been playing a lot of games. I'm with that. I feel like you know I've been, I've been to a lot of stores and I've been able to buy things that I really like want to play. I hear you. Nice. You know, I don't know if you guys. I mean, not on the retro side that I'm sure you're referring to, but I stay buying games. Well, not even retro. I mean, like, I've been playing a lot of Switch lately. Yeah. Especially with the Monster Hunter Switch. Um, Not playing Monster Hunter on it. Not I I don't have any interest in those games. Well. Should I? I mean, I don't think you'd like them. I I enjoy them, but they're even a lot for me. Um, It's a lot of grinding, which is fun, but fighting big monsters, big hard monsters. You know, but it's cool. Um, I play. I played a lot of uh, Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition. Mm-hmm. True, I dude. Vice that City. A while ago. Vice City is so such a fucking dope game. There's definitely like some drawbacks that I've noticed. Like, dude, some missions just like don't work sometimes. And same with GTA Three. Like, I don't. What do you mean by that? They like, they're just buggy. Like. Like it's like oh pick up this person and drop them here and uh-huh. you drop them off and it like doesn't recognize that you've dropped them off and so you just fail the mission because like the time runs out or is it know, that they have to get like into that. a building or something first or uh. well it'd just be like in GTA three I had to there was a, there's a mission where you go and you go and pick some you you go and pick up these these nice cars you like steal them and put them in the garage and I would go get the car. And it would say, go to this garage. And I would go and pull it in. And then I would get out and the door would close. And it wouldn't register that it was in there. And it would be like, put the get back in the car, put it in the garage. And then, but the garage would be closed. So I couldn't get back in. That's weird. So it took me like three or four tries. Yeah, I don't like, know about all that. Get it dude. to just work. Um, but I mean, those games are so nostalgic. And, I, and I've never really truly finish them dude they're fucking hard Hard games man like they're legitimately hard hard. i've never really been into gta like at all i play on and stuff those are some of the some of the best early like ps2 games i mean we didn't have a playstation 2 until a lot later and when we got it i was focused on playing like kingdom hearts and final fantasy not gta i mean sean Wait, played through the Grand, uh, San Andreas. No, I didn't. Incredible. Well, you played it. I played it, but it was all in Portuguese, man. Yeah. That's the one I haven't played yet. Yeah. So I remember you messing around with that a lot, and I remember you did play through 4 when we got that yeah. on 360. But I don't know. I mean, they're cool. They just never really appealed to me that much. Like They're definitely just like fetch quest driving yeah. simulators. But, dude, they, I said this on Stardew. Like, they have so much character. Like, yeah. I agree. Radio stations, yeah. and yeah. like, I think I when I was a kid, I remember being like, "This is the first game where I feel like, yeah, everything's kind of a joke, but like, this feels real. Like, this really feels like how there's like, you know, one thing. Like, there's like super dirty jokes, but there's like gang violence and like, you know, like white nationalist like racism and like yeah, it's I like. Mean- it's why there's no holds barred. Yeah. No, you know what I mean? Uh, how, which I don't like advocate for those things, but like it's like that's how the world actually is. Like it's a pretty dark place, but um, yeah, people definitely the like I've them for that. a reason. Yeah. Maybe they'll make six one day. It's so crazy because like Rockstar made such like other other games are so weird. Like I'm pretty sure I've got one over there. I could be wrong, but it's Monster Truck Madness, and it's like how do they get to 
I don't know. I think Grand when the GTA Auto. games took off, they started doing that a lot. I don't know a lot of their other catalog, honestly. Yeah, but. and that's the thing. Like that, you'll ne- you don't you've never heard any of them because like this was their big yeah. hit. You know, I mean, they had a bully. They'll never make a sequel for, yeah. which was just GTA as a kid in school. And oh, bully! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, people are really wanting a remaster yeah. of that. I thought they, I thought I heard they were doing. I don't know, but uh, that and then of course like Red Dead. Or. Red Dead, yeah, that's right. But um, which I, I would like to play the new one, the newest one. But I feel like I I'm more interested in that than Grand Theft Auto, honestly. But yeah. I, uh, there's a have fan played fan uh, remake. Bully. Bully. yeah, that's what it sounds. Like. I rented that game one time. We uh, did we have it when we got the PS2? I feel like we might have, but um. Oh, uh, what game? It was a great, oh. it was a great idea. Uh, I never played it. You did. I thought I had, you I had messed che- with it. You I had the cheats yeah. printed out for I don't, that game. I don't think I ever like played any of those games seriously. Yeah. Dude, yeah. it's too bad the cheats don't work on Switch. Oh yeah, I mean they that sucks. But they, cheat I codes think, are like a thing of the past for the most part. Well, they sucks. had them in the game, and then I think a few updates in, they were like these are crashing. Because, dude, I, I mean, there are some serious frame drops on yeah, Switch. Yeah, that's fair. But like, it, there's some definitely moments where I'm like, I think this is gonna crash. It's crashed, I think, twice. That's weak. But I've played for many hours, so like, in, in comparison, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's the 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 new look. We talked about this a little bit. It does look a little funky because like the original graphics were so rudimentary. Um, but yeah. I like it. I I. It just throws me back, dude. I love. Hell yeah, man. That's cool. Do you do you remember? Yeah, I, I'll probably bleep his name just for safety, yeah. We probably but, should do that. Uh, he, <laughs> I went to his house one time because Tanner used to hang out with him and his older brother, and for hours I sat and played Vice City by myself and just like got like bought the properties and like got all the best cars and put them in the garage and like. Never went over and played it again. And dude, I, I, yeah, never again. But like, <laughs> I vividly remember that I bought like the you can buy a, one of these locations in the game, and you get like ten garages. And uh, dude, it was like a fucking flashback. I was like, oh my gosh, this was that place that I kept thinking about because I thought it was in three, and I couldn't find it, and it was in Vice City. Vice City is awesome, and the soundtrack's fucking awesome. Maddie's like, I love these songs. Yeah. It's that old licensed music type thing. Yeah, I don't know, do. dude. They must have paid so much money for some. Yeah, people. I don't yeah. know how that works at all. But yeah, just playing a lot of Switch. Oh, how about man. you, Sean? You been doing anything? Playing anything? Um, I've been kind of in a game rut again. Um, I mean, I've been playing some Game Boy Color games. Um, uh, it's mostly the Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. I'm almost done with that. I've been playing Devil Daggers a lot on PC, Still? which, well. That's pretty much the only game that I've been playing other than, like, Minecraft here and there. Um, Back on the mind, dude. Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Really? We've been playing it with some people from the internet because they were like, well, we just set up a realm, and I'd never played in yeah, a realm people. with other people. Yeah. And That's the only thing that I think would get I've me to try that. it. It's pretty, I mean, it's pretty cool. I We really don't work. I mean, I was just building my own house, but, you know, you, someone will be like, hey, anyone need any food? And I'll be like... Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> is it like survi- it's survival? Yeah, survival. Um, you can all, like you can all go to bed and skip the day, like you could, yeah. you know. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, Devil Daggers. I mean, did I talk about it on? I think the, only uh, when we were playing Stardew. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm, uh, it's I like know. a. I've been remember. playing the shit out of it. I mean, I think it's like a, a boomer shooter arena type game. And boomer shooter is that a genre for, now? Is it for I mean, boomers? that's it's a doom, no, really like style. It's a Doom style, but it's like. Like very uh, retro looking, like is that what pixelated? Boom, is that Boomer literally referring to like Boom, uh, old people shooter oh, games? I thought it was like like Quake and Doom and all those like dude Doomer. Um, so it's a really like the the entire game's like dark as shit. Like it's hard to see anything, and you're on this platform. Dude, it's hard to see these screenshots. I know. Oh well, it um, looks like the PS One era. Yeah, graphics, which I love. Yeah, I mean it's I it's a uh, it's um. You spawn and you just try and last as long as you can. Like, try and kill as many demons as you can. And I can only get to, like, 196 seconds 
of surviving before I die. And you just shoot these demons, collect gems. You, for every so many gems you collect, you get a power up. Um, there's people who are the top leaderboards, man, and I don't know how they stay alive for that long. I mean, it's insane. The the person who's like top, and like they apparent like I play that game with my mouse set at the highest DPI I can, which is like makes my mouse move as fast as like it can, like thirty two hundred or whatever. Yeah, and apparently people play that game like at really really low. Like when the people who are really good play at really low DPI because you don't really need to move them your hand that much. And I was like, I dude, I'm feel like a spaz the entire time I'm playing. I feel like in shooters, I don't know, not that I play a lot, but like going up in DPI means like when you spaz out a little yeah. bit trying to aim at somebody, you yeah. just overshoot like crazy. So I've been trying to go like mid range. Yeah, and normally I play at like uh, I normally play sixteen hundred. Like yeah every other game but uh yeah for some reason this one i was like i'm just gonna try and crank it because i do feel like i need to spin myself around really quickly because you do like there's these uh these demons with uh these big horns on their head and they just kind of bounce around the map but if they get behind you and there's enough things following you they'll start to follow you too and they're faster than the other guys so if you don't kill them they'll just fucking like run into you and kill you it's one hit kill like you the instant Yo, you touch your anything something touches you you die instantly so oh it's one hit yep you should try well maybe not it's so really much. fucking it's hard different but uh it sounds frustrating game you should look at is ghost runner uh yeah i did i think that's on my wish list yeah but um it's that same like one hit kill but I, i'm not gonna talk about that but yeah, i mean that stuff like that, that is that hard. a lot like, of fun I, I i don't know man i'd get pissed off but I, I mean honestly i've been playing like a couple rounds and then putting it down like yeah trying not to sit there for hours and waste time playing yeah. a single player game that i am dying a million times um but i mean after work to get up and you know yeah play that for a few minutes is fun uh, other than that i've just been doing or trying to do more modding or repairs i did end up buying a soldering station and i repaired i did build two little led like boards one of them has three little buttons and an RG, they are all light up in our uh, red, green, and blue light. And then there's another one that's a single light, but three knobs, and you can turn the knobs to change it to any color. It's like doing a little science class yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, a little know? STEM stuff. Yeah, dude, it's um, dope. And so once I did those, I then desoldered a battery, learned I had the wrong size battery, Rip. bought the right size battery. Win. And then I was able to w. repair it. So. I repaired yeah. a couple Game Boy games. I have not opened my Game Boy Color up yet to do the mod that I want to do, which is to just actually solder the wires it came with to make the LEDs change color. Dude, you got to do it. I know. It's I'm so been... fucking bummed about that DS, dude. I asked my dad to help me. He's like, I'm soldering the wires. <laughs> but it's definitely flux. I don't know what I fucked up over there, but it's I'm like, a part of me is like, I'm going to just buy another one. <laughs> I'm just going to buy a working one. Uh, but I really want to fix it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's worth a shot. You'll figure it out, you... man. Are you doing your soldering in here? Yeah, I don't really know where else to do it. Yeah. I have such a piece of shit soldering iron. It was $12. Yeah, Luke bought one for, like, really cheap to fix his, uh, like, uh, aux cable was fucked up, and he, like, took it apart, and, and yeah, he bought one for, like, 12 bucks. I mean, He I... just did it, like, right next to everybody, like, because it barely smoked for a little. <laughs> I mean... I do worry about the fumes. Yeah. Uh, well, because you're doing a lot. Yeah. Solder. So. But it's you have lead solder. Is that what it is? No. So most is non lead. There's most are non lead solders now. Um, wow. you have to go out of your way specifically to buy lead yeah. solder. Pretty sure they just like try not to put lead in anything anymore. Yeah. Dude, just lead paint and. Do you yeah. hear that? I hear a little. The buzzing. Whatever. Uh, yeah. I don't it's know. Gone. I worry about the fumes, but I just try not to. Like I'm not just like, yeah, yeah. you know. I'll normally <laughs> I'll normally blow it away. Yeah, from I'll my go. Face yeah, I, or I'll. You should just, get a little yeah. like desk fan or something. That's what I want to get. I, they make little uh, yeah. like vents you can get. Though. Yeah. Well, that's better. But and you got a window right here. You just suck it out. Dude, I'll just dude, I'll just suck it right into my. Or know, that, and system. then blow it out the window so you yeah. get it out of here. Um, I, I put a game by me that I wanted to talk about really quickly. Um. So I, I was I watched this guy on YouTube. He's honestly the best. I I think he's one of the coolest. Like, you know, uh, I guess they're video game essays, but they're way like when I think of video game essays, I think of like, 
you know, I think they're kind of long winded and they are um a little more serious. Like when I say essay style videos, this guy's a lot more like positive and he talks about really like, you know, interesting things. It's a guy named Thomas Game Docs. You guys watch him? Never watched him. I'm telling you, like you'll watch his whole entire catalog if you because they're not like forty five minutes. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I love the nerd writer. But like you know, some of his stuff. So, I, don't, I don't know if I want to watch an hour. I will say I, mean? I love like, his shit though. Yeah, that's tight. I just feel like you guys are the proponents of like I love three hour long of course YouTube videos. <laughs> it's funny but, you're like okay, an hour is sometimes a little much. This some like, some I agree with you, is. but I'm just saying it's funny because other know. times no, it's not. Yeah. Like I'll watch you know a four hour OOT randomizer, but you yeah, know, I mean I'm not gonna do that, but yeah, uh, in the background. But to so this guy Thomas Game Docs, I'm telling you, I'll send you videos. He did a video about. Um, label misprints essentially. So, like, when a vi- when a video game comes out and they on the label, there's like either like a typo or some sort of like fuck up. Yeah. And dude, he talked about this game and it just blew my mind. And I was looking on Mercari and there was a sealed version with the the fuck up, and it was only like twenty bucks. So I just want to show it to you. It's fucking wild. This is all because of him. So the game is Okami. It's a it's a Wii game that originally came out, I think, on GameCube. I think PlayStation and GameCube. Do you know about this? Uh, no. I label, know about the game. Label. Uh, no, this just seems funny that this is here. Yeah, that's like on there too. Uh, if you look at it for a second, is there anything that you see that like stands out? That you're like, it, it, to me, on first viewing, it's like everything looks fine. Like it's definitely it's on the front, whatever it is, but. Uh, I don't see. Is that not in the right place? No, no. The R, I mean, like on the teen. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't tell you. I feel like I was looking. It looked like the paint was kind of weird there, but I feel like that's not really it. So before I tell you what it is, I'll give you a tiny bit of backstory. This is what the video is partially about. So this game was. This is a port to yep. Wii that I think. Like I said, I think it was GameCube. Um. It's on a lot of shit now. So. The original team that made it kind of disbanded uh, after the GameCube version. And uh, they lost a lot of the files for the game. They they got, they had a team who, it was Capcom, who rebuilt the game. Basically, like they figured out a way to get it back to a working state to port it to Wii. And so they didn't, like I said, they didn't have all the files for... Uh, different aspects of the game. So, on this cover uh, is a is a really funny uh, fuck up. Do you there's see? An it? IGN logo. There's an IGN logo. They ripped the picture offline or something. They ripped offline because they didn't have the cover. That's so funny. The cover art. Wow. When you were talking about that, I was started being like, they definitely just jacked an image online. And so, I don't think it was on purpose. I think whoever it was. It's very small. I'll, I'll try to put a photo on screen. It's like right here. Um, you can see the little crosshairs. Yeah, so weird. Yeah. And on the tail, you can see IGN. And um, That's so funny. some poor graphic designer probably stripped it from online for like, you know, maybe like a mock-up to be like, this is what it'll look like. And then it went out and they forgot about it. So they, they came out and they were like, uh, we're so sorry. Like this was a total accident. Explain that they had lost some files. And uh, IGN they, sued them. They gave no. I think IGN was like, yeah, "That's fucking been, dope. Yeah. It's free advertising." Yeah. <laughs> uh, like they, they were like, "Send it back or tell us, like, show your receipt, and we'll send you another label." And so they had like two or three variant labels that are probably collectible now. But there's a fucking IGN logo. Yeah, I'm on surprised this, on that this was insane, game. man. I'm surprised that was twenty dollars. Did the person selling it know it was? I don't know. It wasn't labeled like misprint. No, I think that it's probably gonna go up in value at some point. But I was like, I have to get a sealed copy of this because this is a sealed fuck up. You know what I mean? Like, and I think that's so cool. Um, because it because you don't see it if you don't look closely. Yeah. But once you see it, it's like you're never going to unsee it. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, from this angle, I can't even tell that. Like, I can't read the IGN. Yeah. And that's this is the only watermark right yeah. here. Uh, 
So I just thought that was a really awesome, like, I thought I was going to go online. It was going to be like $100. And I, I just think people don't know, you know. And so go subscribe to Tom's Yeah, I mean, Game unless Box. you're, like, looking online about this kind of stuff, you, you wouldn't notice it, like you said. I mean, maybe if you look close, but how many times are you sitting there like, this is awesome box art. Well, yeah, I mean, how often do they, these things happen? Not that often. No, yeah, well, that's um, what I'm saying. A lot of people probably have it and don't even know. And this isn't, like, a perfect seal, but, like, man, the IGN is so fucking funny to me because it's, to me, it's like a, it's kind of a time capsule, if you will, of, like, when this came out and that version of the IGN logo. I don't know. I just thought it was so cool. Just a little, little tidbit. Thomas Game Docs. I'm going to send you a video. Yep. I'm going to put it in the Discord. Go uh, join the Discord if you want to see that video. Or, or if you just want to join the Discord. Or if you just want to chat, you know. It's cool, man. How's things been going with? Uh, how are things been going with you, Steve? They're pretty good, man. Uh, been chilling, playing games, watching a lot of fucking TV these days. So, but uh, I am finally after I started it almost eight months ago. Uh, I'm very close to beating Persona Five Royal. I thought you were going to wow. say Elden Ring. I did beat that. I don't know if that was before the last time we had this podcast. You mentioned it. I can't remember. I definitely beat it. That game was awesome. I want to go play more. I definitely was getting like burnt out just because... Is it a long game? It can be. I mean, I spent like 80, 90 hours to beat it. But we're, talk we're still talking about Persona 5. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Elden Ring's long. Persona 5, I'm at almost 100 hours, and I still have like two dungeons. Damn, I didn't realize. And yeah... It Persona 5 Royal 2 is longer, has like another dungeon at the end, I think. Um, I want to say average time is like 110 hours plus. You know, if you do a lot of extra stuff, you might get like 140. I was using like a, a, a slight guide that, no spoilers, tells me things like not to miss and when to do certain things by. So that like helps a little bit. Um, guided some of my decisions where some of the other stuff, like I feel like a lot of the time you could just dick around and be like, I don't know what I'm going to do because yeah. I've said, but most most of the game is like not the RPG turn-based combat dungeon crawling stuff. Most of it is really like running around talking to people and doing like side stuff. But I've been playing that a lot. It's really fun. I like it when I finish it. I might give you guys a little more, but it's probably in my like, it's definitely in my like top five games of all time for sure i think i have it. it you have persona 5 strikers for the oh. switch which oh, is okay. uh like a musa like warriors dynasty warriors style game which is actually a sequel to five so i do plan to play that but i'm probably not uh gonna do that right away after a hundred and something hours of uh yeah, I get that's it. too much time the same story i don't know man it's honestly i'm gonna be really sad when it's over and again i've been if i was doing this all in like a month that would have been a lot um but the pacing gets broken up by going from combat stuff to like story, talking to people and whatnot. So it doesn't ever feel like any one thing drags that much, um, especially if you're invested in the characters. And like, I'm going to be sad to, to leave my friends behind when I'm done, you know? Sorry, dude. But uh, yeah, it's good. Um, I did get uh, a Steam Deck. We talked about it a little bit in the. Yeah, wow. So that's, that is big. Yeah. Wow. That's what I said. Uh, that's what she said, though. Well, um, honestly, haven't been playing it as much as I would uh, like to. I do have a remote play app on here for PlayStation, so I was playing like Persona 5 streaming this to my Steam Deck, sitting on the couch and watching TV and whatever, which was fun. Um, but honestly, I mean... Here, if you want to mess with it, you can. You can press this button and go to my library if you want. Just Mason hasn't seen it yet. I showed Sean. But this thing is this is huge, this man. Fucking massive. But it feels comfortable. Like, the grips feel really nice. Yeah. Honestly, man, it's cool just to have. I've been playing some stuff on it, but it really just works. Is it, it, is it uh, 1080 or higher? Uh, it's a weird, like... 800p. Yeah, it's oh, a weird so resolution. Weird. Uh, but it works well. Everything looks pretty good on it and Super hot. you know the small smaller screen means you know it's not pumping as hard but really it just it works i haven't tried any games that would be like difficult to play on it but even games that say they're not proven yet if you know it has controller support it's 
going to work fine. Um, and some people have even like mapped the touchpads to, you know, using a mouse yeah. to play games like, uh, I don't know, what's a strategy game like Civ or something like that, where you might want to use the mouse instead How of How was Desk Job? That's like the demo that they oh, the released demo. for it. Dude, uh, there's a guy, the guy who plays the voice of the, of like the guy who you talk to, Nate Bargazzi. He's really funny. He's the, he, like the, Kind of the trainer that talks to you in that, yeah, yeah, that's him. yeah. It's it's. How's the battery life? So it depends on the game for sure. Uh, I had full battery and like loaded up Elden Ring, uh-huh. and it was like maybe two hours. I mean, that's, that's kind of what Breath of the Wild yeah. was. Yeah, when the Switch yeah. came out. Now, when I play like the um, uh, PlayStation uh, like remote play thing, because it's not running the game on here. It's like five hours or something. 2D games are definitely, you can get like four hours. Yeah. It depends. Um, and it's cool because like, let me show you this actually before I, for anyone that is interested in it, my my real review like Mason did, if you were interested at all, I would just put the $5 down to get in the queue because. Yeah, I think I did. I just don't know. All you do is you go and you just press a button and switch to desktop mode and it brings up like the full like linux experience basically which is cool because it's just a computer i mean that's what it is and it's just it's a built-in you know with controllers yeah and you can just literally go in and install other stuff there's a website you can go to that downloads this executable that just installs every emulator you would want on and and it it it, uh can play you can set it up to play from the other mode pretty well I did load up like Soul Calibur and, and just messed fine. with it, and I mean, I got some audio stuttering and whatever, but it it ran. Look, dude, it's no. <laughs> yeah, it's no it's literal no PlayStation portable. hardware. Um, it's but, no PS two P. You know, no. Yeah, it, but that's awesome. The, I mean, the, it's build quality. The thing that I think is cool about it is this is not the first time something like this has existed, right? Like, GPD has made plenty of devices that are like this that run Windows, oh. which are a lot more accessible to most people. Yeah, but this is like the most people's first experience with Linux and everything is just working like Steve said it's probably a great experience and it's not as frustrating as Android or Windows is to try and fucking manage well, your, their, your library and all the things you want to do it looks like uh Windows yeah well i mean it's a it's, it's the steam os is i don't it's I debian think, based which is uh, the one of the more popular dis, like types of linux um and so yeah. uh yeah, it's it's a pretty cool little thing. I mean, most bugs have already been worked out for Debian based Linux systems, so like things like Bluetooth just work and all of that stuff. Yeah, like I bought a little tiny um, Bluetooth keyboard and and mouse, and when I was like installing shit, you just go into the desktop mode, and I was just uh, using is the like, USB C also video out? Yeah, mm-hmm. so you have to. They're coming out with an official dock, dock at some point, but I just bought an Anchor like dongle that has video out, Ethernet port, USB-C power and stuff. and Pretty sick little things, man. Yeah, I I mean, it works. Like, I don't know what the fuck Wizardry they're doing with Proton, but it's, like, from what I understand, works a lot better than any of the, like, Wine-type stuff that would run Windows applications through Linux. And it's only going to get better. Yeah. Do you see that, um, speaking of, like, Switch and Docs? Speaking of the Switch? (sighs) It's not even the Switch. Um, some company came out with this like Game Boy Advance, uh, s- USB C dock, yeah, mod. So you can, it's yes, dude, it's so sick. This thing, yeah, dude. So you can dock your GBA and then use a wireless controller to play it dude, on the TV. It seems so, um, like obviously there was there's a lot of things that lead up to that because, you know, that's for USB C. Yeah, but. It seems like it should have been done so long ago. Well, I mean, if you think mm. about, I mean, they, we didn't have the technology to do this. Yeah, before. and that's why. Yeah, I'm just I saying. Mean, it, like, USB-C, it seems so simple. You I, know, there's those things that you would plug into your computer where you could just put the game into it and run the game. I've seen yeah, it, right? as a consoleizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. those I'm, are I'm gonna cool fuck too. With the but real quick. yeah, I, I think talking. I think that this idea is really neat. And I mean, I kind of said it before. Is like my flash cart because I have the Game Boy uh, player for the GameCube is like kind of the reverse of a Switch, right? Because I can take the cart and plug it into yeah. either a handheld or the television. 
But I think that having something like this would be a lot cooler because... Sony did it first. Yeah, no, I know that. And I mean, I think that... No, really... Nintendo did with the Game Boy Player and oh, I guess that's that, true. I mean, they had that even they had the yeah. Game Boy Player or for Game the Game Boy Color or whatever. Yeah, the Game Boy. I don't remember what that was called. The Super Super yeah. Boy for the SNES. Yeah, SNES. Can't believe I just said that. The SNES. That always weirds me out to say. I know people do say that, but yeah, I mean, I think that stuff's cool. I told you when I got the Vita, I had already had a PlayStation TV because I got yeah. one for twenty bucks at Walmart. That fun story. Yep, and. uh that was cool because with cloud saves, all I did was pop in the mm-hmm. game the same as we were talking about. And I had modded both of them so I could just download whatever you want. Yeah, or, you know, rip my legally owned games and put it on both of them and yeah. then not have to even plug in a cart. I could just have it on both. And so stuff yeah. like that is is fun. And this you could, like, I could plug this up to my TV and sit down with friends and play. Yeah with controllers it's like a switch where if i wanted to show somebody a computer game i had yeah i could bring this over to their house instead of bringing my big ass computer Desktop. yeah so i have to figure out how to do uh uh, uh some stardew, stardew on that so i mean i can... go to linux uh, desktop <laughs> mode and load up obs yeah. and just fucking that's what i'm yeah. saying that's a great point i mean you that can might be too much overhead but yeah i mean i'll just bring uh you know my uh laptop and record me on that and then no you know just make but, it super fucking complicated yeah yeah but really um i think it's cool like i said i really haven't put as many hours in it as i want but it's cool it's gonna get me to play some games that i maybe wouldn't have wanted to like sitting down at the computer i know you guys aren't super interested but i've wanted to play a lot of different uh visual novels and like when you read a book do you want to be sitting at your computer desk chair not particularly all the time unless you have a sick chair but i'd like to be like sitting on the couch or in my bed reading sick fucking chair and using this to go through visual novels like just reading while sitting on the couch whatever would be pretty nice um so i mean looking forward to it it's suspend feature works really well like similar to other shit except for it's surprising because like some computer games where you can't pause or can't just like save and pick up exactly where you were. You can suspend it and load another game, and it it just keeps that um, yeah, like in stasis, great. basically, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I dude, I really, I know that Sean can probably explain it to me in so many words, but like, I don't get how that shit works because like, I'll be in the middle of a mission playing GTA, and I'll sleep mode, walk away like days, if not, you know many hours and it's still there it, that doesn't it doesn't make any sense to me i mean now you can explain it to me if you want I, I mean how sleep mode works well no just like, like how, how do they pause the game basically i mean i don't know the actual technical details of it but i assume it's like that they just literally how does the pause, pause the game yeah, so i mean and it's anything that's like still that they need to keep is like in the RAM, right? Like to hold you. I would assume that this is exactly what a, what the pause button does. Is it's, it's yeah. It halts the code from progressing until the button is pressed again. Then it would allow it to continue to run. Yeah. For switch and like sleep state, like Windows, when when you put your computer to sleep, it writes everything that was in RAM th- that you were working on to the disk, and will basically shut the computer down. In and go into a well, not shut the computer down, but go into a sleep state that where when you turn it back on, it's moving that information back to RAM and allowing for you to know resume your experience. That's cool. I'm like ninety percent sure that's how it works. Um, so I would assume the switch is doing something very similar, where it, it in the sleep state, it's halting all. Uh, code like code from executing except for just making sure that the game is still what are they there. saying Westworld stop our mo- all motor functions yeah, <laughs> maybe that's what <laughs> I, I mean honestly if someone is going to come in here and tell me I'm completely fucking wrong and that's like, completely well, fine that's fine Actually, we're not we're not the, uh, um, DRAM is not doing that <laughs> yeah but yeah. I, I don't know it is cool though that it works like uh, Sean brought this You're up when you were wrong. messing with Game Boy games it's funny that like Metroid Fusion had a sleep mode function yeah. where you could go and put the Game Boy Advance essentially to sleep, which yep. I don't really know how well that actually worked because I never used it that much, but for a game like that it was, where you can't it, always get it to... It did a, save a, quite a bit of battery life yeah. um, using those sleep states. Which is neat. And then, you know, 
everything like the DS had to just close it and the PSP had to put it to sleep and stuff. I thought it was cool with the PSP because I knew the DS would go to sleep and I was like, oh, it's because you close it. It's just like, it's just pausing while it's closed. But the PSP, it was like, it felt like you were shutting it off. It felt so weird to me. Yeah. Because you were like actually messing with the power button, basically. Yeah, it went the like, other way, Dude, right? the DS yeah, yeah. is like that. Or it, no, you just t- uh, flipped it once. The DS, like, if you want to go back to the home screen for DS games, no chance. Yeah. It's oh. like closed software. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> the old True DS. again, Bozo. Yeah, it's like, nope. The 3DS yeah. even, like, you can go to the home screen and it's like, yeah, you can't open this other app, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the PSP, yeah, yeah. you can load games. But you games. can, for 3DS games, go back... But you can only go back in if you're. But you can't do anything else. Yeah, that's what, it's like it's so weird. Yeah, it didn't have a lot of uh, power there, but no, yeah, no. I mean, it makes weird. sense, but um, do you have anything? Because I have uh, no. Go for it. I, I mean, I didn't really have thing. too much other than. So I'm gonna send you guys a photo. I've been meaning. I've been wanting to talk to somebody about this, but I don't like know who to who to to ask. I've been so. Have you guys ever used AI upscalers? Nope, I know. I know what they are. Yeah, I don't do I a lot my of television uh, has that. Oh, no, my the Nvidia Shield has that. Yeah, uh, I've it been can use, add some weird artifacting. I've been using it with um, oh, with my job. I did get access to Dolly. Oh, you did? Yeah, I've only typed in a few things. It's kind of complicated to to get it to come up with something good. Is there another one? There was there's, one, that there's I one used called Mid free. Mid Journey. Mid Journey Crayon. I want to get into Mid Journey Crayon and um, uh, there's that um, D- the Dolly Mini Crayon, um, and then a Stable Diffusion is another one, and then AI Curio is the one I use all the time on Twitter. That one's really fun to just tweet things at. But yeah, I mean it was pretty cool to to get access. I, I generated some some images. It's like almost borderline embarrassing to like try and write something out like to get a cool image and then you get an image and you're yeah. like, I don't know that I would want anyone to know what I just typed in, right? Like, cause it, <laughs> well, it's like, I mean, it's a little embarrassing. I mean, you sat there and thought for like 30 minutes to try and describe what you want to fucking come out on the other end. And, yeah. yeah. I, there's definitely some stuff I've been seeing recently that like some of the ones that are just like stupid and look like eerily real, but are just like two words together that look dumb. I guess I saw one that was like Trump Bloodborne or something. That yeah, was just dude, funny. I think those are so <laughs> fucking oh, yeah. funny, yeah. man. Dude, the Twitter pages are pretty good. <laughs> but dude, dude, did it were, come in at, at scale at all, or did it just crush it? Um, let me see. But some of the ones I've seen of people putting in things to make like really cool, oh, like yeah, no, scenery and that. things look really neat. Um, yeah. yeah, if it's like, I feel like non-human is really good. So here, I I'm gonna pull up what I what I tried to actually let me pull it up on the computer while you while you talk about that so go ahead sorry I didn't mean to derail the I'll conversation just, I'll just say for I don't care about the you same. know for like safety purposes of my job like I just I make ads for TV and so you don't really need to say anything but yeah so the thing is is that sometimes when I make these ads I have to find photos um, of people and sometimes they're super low res and up until I would say until I started using these upscalers, um, you just had to hope that you could find a good photo. Didn't you say also sometimes you'd have to like buy? Yeah, pictures? you have to. Yeah, you have to buy photos. You have to buy v- stock video. If you're lucky, you know you can find some. All- I use I use a website called Pexels, which is like a really good stock video website. There's a bunch of them. Unsplash, uh, Pixabay. Um, there's so many resources for free stock footage and I use it almost every single day. So use those. Yeah, shout out. Uh, because you can just save so much money. Like, you know, I remember two years ago we spent like, I think it was like $1,900 on a photo to use first this ad campaign. And it was like, this is so much money. This is so unnecessary. But, um, so for this particular photo, I'll probably blur out like the eyes and nose, but you can you can see. I texted it to you, uh, to both of you. Yeah, it's pretty. Crazy. You can see if you zoom in just how much it upscaled this photo. I mean, yeah, look at the teeth, job. look at the eyes, um, and it's gotten to the point where, dude, I. If I find a photo of, of a person who's going to be in this TV ad and it's low res, 
I can just upscale it. And like Yeah, that's pretty cool. You would never know that I upscaled this if you if you don't know, you just don't know. Um and um dude, it saved my ass like a bunch of times cuz some some of these people upload super low res photos and it's like They've got five photos online, so you just got to use it. That's funny because I've definitely like heard of these, but and like I could see where it would be useful in general. But I never thought about it for like a business thing. I always thought like people that were just like I don't know. I don't even really know what I thought people use them for, but I see it sometimes for like uh, art of things people find or like they can't find anything. They don't reverse image search doesn't show yeah. the original source for this drawing somebody made. And they have been like, oh, I upscaled it or something, which is cool. For something like that, you'd think you'd want to find the original, but when you can't. Sometimes you can't. And and sometimes even when you, like, I am a proponent, uh, like a huge uh, advocate for using inspect uh, element. Yeah. And digging through the site to try and find a good photo. Because you can find it. A lot of times, like, you'll be on a website and there'll be a... a uh, like a downsized version of the original and you can still find the original yeah. on the back end. And so I'm all about that. But sometimes the photo that they upload is the one you get. If it's like Facebook, that's going to get super compressed or Twitter, it's going to get super compressed. So to be able to do this, I mean, I've used this for a number of ads and have not gotten a single person saying, that oh like how did you do that they just people don't think about like oh that's just a nice photo of them i mean no one you know, like you said no one's gonna know you did anything yeah but if you put up a super low res photo they're gonna yeah. notice um and so yeah i mean i've i've used like there was a polaroid that i used and like a family photo that was super low res that i used i use an app on my phone called ramini it's r-e-m-i-n-i I have to watch ads to get it, but I'm not going to fucking... I'm not going to yeah, pay. pay for it. <laughs> like, I can I can do it as many times as I want. I'll just watch a 30-second ad. Um, that's the best one I've found, though. The one, the yeah, others kind of suck. Like, because I, I, I was like, I really want to upscale this. I've used some websites and, like, they just Face aren't as doesn't good. doesn't have an uh, option for that? They might. Yeah, I bet you they do. They might. Just get the face app watermark in the yeah. corner. And I mean, I could scrub it on yeah. Photoshop. Photoshop also has some really awesome tools. I bet. For um, essentially content aware, if you want to, uh, like this photo, for example, I, I wish I could show you the full one, but um, it's a, it's a, for the people listening, it's a portrait style photo. So it's like, you know, like the phone screen basically. And I needed it to be 1080 by 1920. And so I put it into Photoshop and what you can do is you can crop with con content aware fill. And so what it'll say is like, choose the places that you want it to fill in. So like I took like the skyline and like the trees and just the outside, yeah, not, the, just, not the subject. Yep. And it'll blow Expand it out it. to the yeah. side to, to, to fit. And then all I do is just crop in because dude, some of the yeah. content aware is so uncanny. It's like yeah. fucking Dolly. It's yeah. like, that's not yeah. human. Uh, and so, dude, it's crazy how AI is, it's changing my work. Like, yeah. well, I mean, that was something that I was reading and well, I didn't read the article. I read the headline of like graphic designers could, you know, lose their jobs over this, right? Because you could just have a machine that you type in, generate a logo in this style for my company titled this, and it'll spit out 40 different options for you. I mean, everything you type in Dolly gives you four images. And I mean... I was just fucking around trying to type in, like, I wanted to get some, like, because a lot of people I see doing w things with it to make, like, dark or funny, or not dark, like, funny or, like, I don't know, weird creatures. So I, I wanted yeah. to see, like, what kind of weird dark art sick. I could get. This next one I think is kind of cool. Do you, what was your prompts? I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then I started to get into, like, seeing if I could create a humanoid. Uh, yeah. I've seen some really cool stuff that looks realistic if it yeah. gets stylized like that and you don't get the... Yeah, yeah, I mean, the faces it definitely seems to struggle with. Cause I also didn't yeah. give it any prompt, but the, there's one that has no... I liked that one because there is That's no sick. face. Yeah, that looks very real. And then this next one, I like the, the staff on this one. That's wild. <laughs> yeah. It's dope. It almost looks like a, like a little figure, yeah. too. And then these ones I thought were kind of cool. These look a lot like Bloodborne to me. 
Um, Bloodborne. Even though I haven't played a lot of it, it reminds me of yeah that same kind of like Victorian. That Dude, one specifically is very like uh, I don't know Resident Evil almost. Yeah, totally. And it's then, so scary because you're right. Like that one's one of my favorite. I've watched so many videos of people being like. This is going to replace some jobs at the very least. I mean, that's the thing, though. Like, I think about the people who can't afford graphic designers. Like, that's that's yeah. not the issue. Like, if you need to make an album art for something, like, that's a great option. Yeah. But people who really want to do it, like, I, I have a hard time believing, at least for the next 10 or 20 years, people are still going to use graphic designers yeah you know I mean? uh, yeah no i mean i don't think it'll totally take away the human aspect of art right because you're guessing at what the, it's it is so hard one of my friends got access to dolly and they're like i'm just trying to use the rest of my credits so what do you want me to type in and I, the things that i prompted it with looked like shit yeah and then they were he was like well you really kind of have to talk to it like almost like a person you have to be like photorealistic image of this body shot you know uh, here's what I want it to look like, and here's what I want the background to look like. Hmm. Whereas AI Curio, I feel like you can throw two words at it, and it's just gonna like smush it together and come up with the best thing that it can. Dolly, I feel like actually is like, what you're giving me is what I'm gonna give you back. Yeah, that's so. interesting. I love it, dude. It's so it's it that's feels neat. like fucking futurism, you know. Yeah, I I was really excited when I got access. Um, I don't know I, now that i only have like 46 credits left to to figure out you only it's 15 bucks a credit Damn and they son. give you 50 for free god so that's a lot. yeah i mean i don't know i thought i saw somewhere like this could be completely wrong it could have said 15 dollars per credit but i thought it said you get 15 a month i don't know for a free yeah profile yeah mid journey i think is similar which is based in discord yeah, I want to. I got into the Discord, but I haven't gone any further than just joining it. I think that's like you can pay as a monthly fee for. It's like yeah, it's like maybe two hundred credits or yeah. so many you know minutes of processing. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy, dude. That's tight. Before we uh, go off of that, I did want to just say to your original point about the AI upscaling. Uh, I recently had gone to a conference and saw a presentation. And like the opening presentation they had was just this little um, like sizzle reel to talk about like why this is this technology is important and stuff, and it was cute and it had definitely some. Uh, it's like they'd probably use the same thing for a while, but some of the pictures was like they just ripped them off Google search or something and put them in there, and they were like horribly compressed, pixelated being, you know, shot on a projector like in front a of huge screen. a couple hundred people and I'm just like, dude, this looks so bad on some of these and yeah. some of it I understand like they have a shitty old like video that they want to show in it and like, yeah, I mean, you can't, you're not really going to do much with that but some of these pictures, it's like just replace the photo with something new. Like, dude, what are y'all doing? It, I love that people think that that's okay. And like I said, it, it's probably old and none of the people, like I don't know who in their company made it. It could have been not a video editor. He probably had Whoa. fucking like Dude, Microsoft to, uh, it's Windows. So funny. Like, go to the beer store and go look at um, a Droit's Oh Bother beer. It is this really fucked up picture, and I love I love it. But and I, when I saw the can art online, I was like, I need to get that. And it's like this r really fucked up picture of Winnie the Pooh, like all gored the fuck out, like blood and bone all coming out of him. Blood and honey. Yeah, and if you look closely, the entire can is pixelated. It's not on purpose, and I don't know. Mm. I the the entire image is it's pixelated, funny. and it almost looks like they bought a s too small of an image and blew it up and printed it. And That's was funny. Like, it, what's the joke uh, uh, from that comedian? He's like, it's, he's talking about the ice cream. Uh, uh, he's like, it's going out on it's, it's oh, yeah. they're loading it up on all the trucks like that. Brian Regan. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. Like, it's going out like that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The serving size. Half sizes. a cup. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. no, it's, it's already been printed. It's going out like that, dude. That's. Yeah, it's I mean, so crazy because it's like I've, I've never seen any other dude, cans printing, look like that. Dude, printing uh, design, graphic design is tough because you have to know yeah, uh, the DPI mm -hmm. and you have to make sure there's like certain. I think it's 600 DPI for print. Yeah, I mean it's got to be minimum. I mean because unfortunately, if it's not a vector, yeah, like the, I, I imagine they're not buying a vector. So, dude.
Sucks. That's well, so funny. Yeah, we talked dude, about I, this. It's it looks it looks fine from, but once yeah. you get up close, you're like, wait a minute. Yeah, oh you my can god. See, oh, that hurts, dude. We definitely talked about this last time we were in here about like all those funny fucking posts you see online of people being like, well, company bought three thousand pens that had like <laughs> use the image in this link, and now yeah. it's printed on there. Use the image in this link. Or, yes. Or yes. it'll be like the broken image icon and say like <laughs> file not found or something. Yeah, like, like or. Uh, write this, this in this language or something and it'll say write yeah. this yeah it's just funny to me like uh, you know it's, it's fuck ups it, like that you know is it incompetency or some of those have to be some of it is probably like you know for those ones where they upload an image if it doesn't work <laughs> they you might not even know that the, someone should be reviewing it sure but like yeah. you might just be like send this project file to the printing press or whatever and they don't Again, dude, I, I'll say this: printing is really difficult. I I did a I did a run of T-shirts for Tanner's uh, band, AP Project. I got a bunch of shirts for his birthday, and I went through a designer on Fiverr, and it was like the super psychedelic dude. And if I remember, I'll put something on screen. But it was like mushroom. Did you guys ever see that the AP Project? It was it's like a heather gray with red. No, I don't think so. You might see it when you're out and about in uh you know maybe at fargo but uh it's like this psychedelic red design with their name and mushrooms and like a skeleton leaning against a tree it's super cool but when i so i got the vector file from the guy and i upload it to the t-shirt site and they're like oh this color doesn't pass uh our printing and i was like really and they were like and so they were like there here's a list of colors that you have to abide by if you want to if you want us to print it. So I don't know if it's CMYK, but there, there is a only certain number of, uh, colors yeah. that they can print. Like, you know, you can't just pick some random red or some random yeah. blue. Um, and so I had to like, I had to go and find the hex code for the red that was closest within the printing parameters. Um, which sucked because I was like, I really want this blood red. But I had to get like more of a saturated red, and it wasn't the end of the world. But it's so easy to fuck up. Yeah, it's yeah. so easy to be like, "Damn, dude, we don't have an image bigger than six hundred yeah, pixels." Eight hundred. Yeah. I guess we'll just stretch it. You know. Yeah. There was a person I saw online um, that was making some pins for like anime characters and stuff for the show coming out, and. Uh, it was funny because I saw some of the original art and I was like, oh, I'm going to follow this person because maybe I'll buy them when they release them. And and then when they showed the pins when they came out, they were like, probably should have done a test print of this one because the character's hair is supposed to be like a peach and it almost looks like white mm. the way it came out on, yeah. this, on this metal print. And uh, I mean, it still looks fine, but I've seen shit like that happen on a lot of these artists I follow that try to make stuff like pins and, and shit like that. And... It's just rough because I didn't buy it because of that. I'm sure some people still did, but it's yeah. like uh, if it kind of looks off, I'm and they just probably bought a shit ton of pins. Yep. You know, selling them for like twenty bucks. I know the pins are probably not that much to make, but it's more expensive than just, like a yeah. sticker. Yeah. yeah. So, fucking blows. Yeah, that sucks, dude. It's it's hard because you know I would have loved to have done. I, I wish that there was a way that you could get a test print from like some of those companies where because unfortunately they're like, dude, yeah. we're not gonna make plates one, yeah. for one fucking shirt and then you're not gonna buy it. Yeah. Like it's one I and mean done, you can do you red know? red bubble and you could upload it yourself and buy one yourself and see how it red looks. Red bubble quality sucks, but red I mean, bubble still. is, you know, but yeah, that is definitely uh but you know, I think I think you only get that type of service if you're buying like thousands. No, so well some you know. places it costs a shit ton, but they're not making like fucking st stamp shit for that. They're yeah, they're probably vinyl or yeah. whatever it is. I, I've done it with. There was a company I used. I think it was called Uber Prints. Because uh, I would uh, for so many years, she definitely doesn't have those shirts. I used to buy Maddie like single shirts, and I would make like you know the photo of the guy. <laughs> it's like from the rap battle one where the guy's like that yeah, one yeah. I got her a shirt of just that face and uh, yeah it was like you know 30 or 40 bucks for one print but I mean you it's spend hard. that much on yeah. some shirts anyways exactly so, so um, 
Yeah. One of my favorites, the meme for a couple of years ago, I don't even know if that's right to call this kind of thing a meme, but the dude was posting on Facebook that every year his brother would make a shirt of him wearing the shirt he got him last year. So the first time it was just a shirt of himself. Yeah. But then it was like four years they had of like, so it was him wearing the shirt, wearing the shirt, and those were so funny. But that has to be, like you said, 30 or 40 bucks to make one of those. Yeah. It's hard to get. And he had like a full That is a, such a shirt. funny, yeah. Yeah, because image. I mean they're not they're not you they're they're like this is a, this is a one yeah. one off you know you're gonna pay for it. Um, yeah. yeah, it sucks, man. I've definitely learned like buying graphic tees and stuff that like some of those I mean look nice, but they probably just cheaped out and they fade. You know, like this is like woven. This isn't gonna. Yeah, but that's really cool. I I love that because like no, like I like this, but some yeah. of the ones that you get like a print on. I have like this Berserk shirt I really enjoy, and it, you can't even tell it's Berserk anymore because it's just faded. Yeah, yeah, just that's coming tough. apart. That's really tough. But I mean, you live and you learn, and you know yeah. you can also be more careful with washing your shirts and stuff. I didn't think about it because I never really considered. But bro, will you just be more careful, dude? Yeah. Uh, before we uh, go, I don't know how much more you guys have to say. Sean looked like he was trying to leave. My ass hurts. So I was just readjusting. Okay. Um, the I mean, one thing I we do are at an hour. Wanna My ass hurts. Mention, uh, and I talked to Sean a bit about this. Is uh, I did go to Oticon a couple weeks ago. I don't really have anything to say about like the convention. Oh, it was fun and stuff. But there's two things I wanted to say that I thought were crazy because I didn't go last year because they took a year off, and then I wasn't sure how last year would be. So I went this year, and I don't know what was. I know you've gone to some like comedy shows, and I don't know, but what's like the last big event like a lot of people this had like almost 40,000 or over 40,000 attendees um, Jesus I went to a Jim Gaffigan show in DC I'm not saying yeah it doesn't have to be 40,000 that, that might have been but. it was at some D, it was some super old DC venue I'm gonna say it was maybe anywhere between two and six thousand yeah. people yeah I'm not trying to be like did you go, have you gone to something with that many but I don't go to that many big events in general. I did go to a baseball game with some friends recently. Super out of character for me, you know, but it was uh, fun. But going to this, there were two things that sucked. It was uh, first day, it wasn't that bad, but it took forever to get in. Not surprising. They were checking uh, like COVID fucking like vaccine status and how stuff. How long did you get in? I had gotten my badge pre-mailed to me. So the day we arrived... Because you, um, you could just walk in? I had to get in a line. The last years I had gone... It was like basically no line if you had your badge already. Took me like 20, 25 minutes to get in. Took my friends like an hour, over an hour. That's not so bad. To get their badges. So like that was on them for, they didn't get it early enough to get it mailed. So kind of sucks. But yeah, like an hour, not so bad. The second day, uh, we had another friend show up late and she had to get her badge. Took her like maybe an hour as well. We showed up, like, as she had gotten in, and we already had our badges, and the line had gotten so bad that it took us almost an hour just to re-enter on the second day. But I was looking online, Damn. and it took some people, like, three hours yeah, to man. get their badge Is it and get in. Because so many people show up on the second day, because the first day was Friday, so if you have to work or whatever, yeah. you might just show up for Saturday, Sunday. There were so many people, convention center, like, line, wrapping around. We literally started, here's the front of the building. It went around the side, around the back a little bit, and then, like, came back around for some reason to the other side and back around instead of just going, like, all the way. So we did this weird snake bullshit. And then by the time we almost got to the front, another section of the line, like, I don't know if they did it on purpose, if somebody started it, but a huge section just fused with ours. And this guy next to us was like, it's so hot. This is horrible. Like, I was, like, I felt really bad by the time we got in. I was sweating and shit. This dude was, like, complaining he'd been in line for five minutes and we'd spent, like, 45. What What are you waiting so, for? To get in. So here's the thing is well, they I'm have, saying, like, like what, what is it that what you're takes so long? passing? So I don't know. And Tim kept saying, like, sporting events and things. They haven't figured out why is it taking so long. And, again, the other years I had gone, there weren't as many attendees, but... Why did it take so long? They only had two entrances. One was through a hotel and one was through the main convention center. And, I mean, it was like single file going in. I don't really know why it took so long because they weren't really checking that much. Like, once you had your wristband for, like, 
um, the COVID and when you had your bad shit. Like, it, I don't know. They were just watching us go in. So I kept thinking, like, maybe it's bag check. Uh, the years I had gone prior, they always checked my bag. Uh, nobody checked my bag this time. And I didn't have much. I had a little little bag I bring around. Um, when I went through the hotel uh, one day, one time, I did walk through a metal detector. But didn't have my bag checked. No one even said anything to me. I just walked by and I was like holding it like ready to have someone stop that's me. So and they're weird. just like, go on. So it felt like really... Dude, that's so wild. Yeah. Un- uncomfortable that they weren't even looking at your bags and stuff and yeah, whatnot. But, that's fucking scary. But uh, I mean, it was it was fun. But that dude, when we got in after that, I was like, dude, I'm not fucking leaving until I see that that line outside is... <laughs> dude, is I just dead. don't... I don't, I don't know why it. either. I mean, when you got inside, it didn't feel like there was much of like... A bottleneck, but you know, is uh, could it be a fire marshal? Like, I mean, there's there too was, many people in the building. There were no, there was nothing that was stopping it. Like, once you got yeah, in, you're really weird walking through and being like, okay, why did this take so long? Hmm. I don't, I don't have an answer. Through the hotel entrance, they were doing this thing because you had to go like down an escalator and then through a metal detector where they were only letting a certain amount of people go at once, so you didn't like swarm the escalator and shit, you know? Because they had, like, a line and they didn't want people, like, I guess trying to push their way through and shit. Dude, that sucks. But, yeah, dude, it was crazy. There was a shit ton of people. There was a couple parts where, like, it was too many people and they were trying to direct the flow of traffic in the convention (laughs) center and it was, like, a spot where you can go buy stuff. You basically go down this escalator and you go left to where all the artists are or right to where all the, like, merch is. And the people at one point that were coming from the artist area we're trying to go over to the uh merch area and the escalators in the middle and people kept like stopping at the bottom so they started telling people coming from the artist area that you couldn't walk directly across you had to go upstairs and come back down because it was getting so congested that they couldn't stop people from coming down the elevator but they were like nope you, you got to go all the way upstairs and come back and the people were like what the fuck dude dude that is it sounds like a Pretty bad management so, problem. So here's the thing. Chaotic. The fact they're not checking bags. That's yeah, that scary. made me I saw a lot of people online being like, what the fuck? Like that's again, I mean yeah. I had a tiny bag, but you know, still dude. But, I, I mean, with recent like yeah, events. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, bro, check my bag. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. I was like, what Oticon's run by like a non profit, like volunteer organization. And I don't think most of the people there are any kind of like professional uh, you know event runners yeah so they i'm sure some of the people that like organize the event itself are like planning and scheduling and doing all this stuff and but then the people they have that are out there like trying to maintain peace and flow it was just getting fucked up but uh so i really just wanted to tell you about that i told sean some of that i had a great time despite but yeah some of the shit i was reading like people that show up at a reasonable hour uh, that second day and then have to wait like three hours in the hot ass sun dude I, I would, ridiculous dude after an hour I'd be like yeah, are we fucking serious like what yeah. yeah there was like one girl walking around outside just like with a portable fan she passed us like three times she was just going up and down the whole line like blowing air and it was, it was kind of like come on that doesn't really do anything but it was just funny because she dude, was out r there r slash humans being bros yeah she was just out there for a long ass time like I bet she showed up and was like, yeah, I'm not getting in this line. I may as well just fucking fan people off while I wait. So. Yeah. But, yeah. No, it was fun. I uh, had a good time with my friends. Uh, cool, man. It was good. That's good. That's really good. Some of those experiences were ass, but, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I I mean, I had some other stuff, but, you know. I think Sean's itching to get... Did you eat dinner? I did. Oh, good. I was going to say... I just beasted some fast food before I came because I'm like, I'm not trying to eat at nine if I went home and cooked. Um, yeah. Uh, you know what? What? I don't really have anything else. We'll save it for okay. the next time. I, I'll just say this one thing really quick. I just wanted to get your opinion about this. This. We were driving in the car. We pull up behind this beater of a fucking car that has a sticker on it that we debated about for some time. Uh, and it because it was a weird sticker, but it's also like it's kind of a self report, but it's it's super weird. The sticker said, "I'm the quiet neighbor with a big freezer." That sounds like I'm gonna kill. I'm a serial killer. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the joke, but yeah, but not. when when you see it on a car, that's like a piece of shit. 
Well, I mean, know, I think that could be making fun of the. It's not that funny. You could be making fun of the co- the the car that you're driving a bit, but that doesn't really seem like very clear. And oh yeah, and there was a sticker that said Liberty, but it was spelled out with. The oh, L was a gun. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Love that. Oh, those are my favorite ones. Uh, like a beer. Or, the, I think or the I was a Statue of Liberty. Oh, okay. So you see the LGBT one yeah. at Fargon all the time? No, I haven't seen it. Uh, it's it's Liberty, like Liberty, beer. Uh, b- beer, guns, and Trump or something yeah, like that. Yeah. So it, it was clear that this person oh, was. Oh, gu- yeah, Liberty guns. Potentially right wing because it was like, you know, it was all the. The, the B was the, the don't tread on me snake. Yeah. So, you know, to me... Snakes don't do that. <laughs> you know, yeah. To me... I fucking love that picture. <laughs> it's just like snakes can't do this. <laughs> don't tread on snakes. Uh, to me, like, somebody who thinks that the serial, joke, serial killer joke is funny, I, I don't know if they would necessarily be conservative. I could see a nerd geek being like, oh, like, you know... I don't know, because I think someone could see that as, like, the don't fuck with me. Well, so the debate for us was, I'm the quiet neighbor with a big freezer. Is it, Yeah, I think obviously it is, like, don't mess with me. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a nut. I'm going to kill you if, and, and put you in my freezer. And at first I was like, is it, you know, maybe a hunter? Is it somebody who's like, you know, I, mean, that, I go that hunting. That might be what it is, And I have for a big sure. freezer. Yeah. But it's like... What do you, why are you, t- you know, what does that say to people? Uh, like, don't cut me off in traffic because I will kill you and put you in my garage. I don't know, man. I mean, we've talked about before that like bumper stickers that like try to say things about you and, and whatnot are a little bit silly. I've seen some, I can't remember one off the top of my head, but there was one that was like, I don't know. That are just don't need to be on your car. That are like inappropriate, like sexual stuff. You could have a kid in the car that's going to read that yeah. and be like, "What is that?" Yeah. Or things that like maybe I get where you're coming from, but I've seen one that's like kill pedophiles, like <laughs> let's yeah. murder pedophiles. Like, and I'm like, why is that on your car? Like, I just feel like that's not like yeah. Dude. You don't need to be like putting that out there for everyone. I to... think bumper stickers are dumb in general. Yeah, yeah. that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So is like, stupid. why do you need to put that stuff on there? You want the person behind you to know that like. You don't like pedophiles? Okay. I would think That's that uh, <laughs> nobody, and nobody should. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just it's like kind why of you, the idea. Yeah, it's like I, I just I don't know, or like yeah. you know, all the like fuck Trump, fuck Biden, all those types of things. It's like I, don't know. Bro, I guess I, don't... I could see myself putting some upside down cross on the back of my car. But... Okay, but I think a sticker <laughs> that like I don't know, it's the words yeah. and stuff that really fair. Get I me. had the little Android guy in my window yeah. for a long time. Yeah, I got an anime character thing, on like, mine. Full like a, sentences. Yeah, or that's like, what I mean. Like, if you're reading this, uh, you're too close, or like, um, uh, baby on board again. Ma- I, Maddie did make a funny joke. She said, uh, "She said I need to have uh, not me, her." She was like, "I need to have a a <laughs> student driver sticker just to keep that on at all times." <laughs> I was like, "That's pretty funny." Yeah. Like so just so people are like baby on board. They're, yeah, they're yeah. just like not. Uh, yeah, they're not mean if you make some mistake. Um, yeah. Again, I I don't know. Like having a little touch or whatever, I think is fine. But even like I said, I got one sticker. But I've seen there's a dude at Martin's that must work there that has like 50 anime stickers. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I love and that. Like, there used yeah. to be somebody at Chick Fil A who had a bunch. Yeah, and I'm like that's cool, but I'm like I don't think I could put that many on my car. Or be like. Oh, I really like this. I mean, and I got all types of fucking anime merch and shit, and I, I just feel like some of that stuff gets to be a little much. It starts to look tacky. Well, dude, if you have trouble... No offense to that guy. If you're watching this, we should be friends, but I'm just saying, like, it's a if, lot of stickers, if and you, I couldn't do it myself. If you have so many bumper stickers on your car that you have difficulty seeing out the back window... That, yeah, you that's should, different, you're, too. You have too many. That's why yeah. some of those ones that are, even if it's one, but it's like huge text, I'm oh, like, why are you covering your whole ass one? Like the saw, Punisher. This one yeah. I saw, man, the other day, it was this fucking uh, entire, like. Yeah, at what uh, point is it actually truck. illegal because you can't see out of it? Well, this one is one of the ones I think that you, you can buy. See, um, like that, um, that don't look like they're see through, but if you're inside yeah, the truck. That's right. Like a one um, way. Yeah, let me see. Let me see if it was. A yeah, cross. some of them are like. Uh, that's they, fair. Polka dotted yeah. so that you can still see. That's fair. I'm just saying it. I yeah, don't know. dude. The, the the funniest ones are like 
the overtly sexual ones that are like, dude, you have to look at that every day. I saw one. Everyone who drives uh, behind you is going to have to see that. Uh, I saw okay. saw this in town the other day on the back of this truck. Uh, dude, yeah, that that's has so fucking it, awesome. Yeah. Like, it's so ridiculous. I mean, but it's so awesome. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So Show it to the camera. Uh, I mean, I'll send you the picture. Yeah. Dude, uh, it's like... Yeah, so <laughs> what's the you point? Know, sometimes it's I don't know. I mean, horses. Yeah, God, God. And, sunset, uh, farming. I guess agriculture. There was one I saw driving like home in town one day that like just I don't remember if it was in the window or whatever, but it was Hello Titty or Hello Titties, and it was like almost looked like a cat face, but when you got up close, it was boobies, right? Yeah, and I was like, who the fuck? So I get speed up beside him to take a glance over the person that has it. It's this old ass lady. She had to be like 70, uh, and I was like, fucking, that's so fucking dude, ridiculous Dude, I saw to this me. one in town. Was it the Brazzers truck? No, dude, it was this the guy. The yellow truck? Who, um... You seen that? Does he like Brazzers bites? Oh, man. I saw this in front of uh, Route 21. There was a Brazzy guy bites who... bites the uninitiated. Dude, he had the, the worst. The, like, it was like super right-wing, um... You know, like every conceivable. That's in town. That was in town. That's so funny. <laughs> That's fucking. That you would wild. do that, like. <laughs> oh, where is this dude? Dude's this like, guy's, yeah. You know I what I do porn. when I go home? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like power. Brazzers is the best porn. <laughs> I, I, mean, I love. I love it, dude. It's great. I gotta you know put he's it on got my a truck. subscription. Dude, there was this <sighs> this guy's truck that like it blew my mind. It was so wild. Again, Please. I just feel like it's something like, you know, maybe, uh, you know, keep that between friends. Yeah, not on your truck. Or your, yeah, your your yellow truck. That's funny, dude. I haven't seen that. Yeah, well. Probably only takes it out on the weekends. No. Um, yeah, it was basically just like every right wing, like, Q... Like everything right wing oh. on the back of this car. And and the guy gets out of the car. He's like a billion years old and he has like four teeth. And it's like, of course. Like he's all gums. That's you awesome. know what I mean? And uh, tracks. One of the th- speaking of like the, you know, like let's go Brandon and all that shit. Um, dude, the funniest stuff online right now is the like Obama. Is, <laughs> have you heard Soda! I, have you seen people referring to <laughs> Biden as dark Brandon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because so like what will happen like something happened a few weeks ago when gas was like crazy high and he I think he made a statement or an exec like some sort of uh executive action or something where he was like gas prices need to go down and then they they for some reason they went down and people were like <laughs> you know uh like dark brandon has spoken and then there would be like laser eyes of him and it'd be like uh malarkey uh i do like the malarkey like ones. malarkey spotted or something uh it's funny as shit dude i haven't seen that dude it's all. just uh dude dark brandon is such yeah. a fucking funny name uh <laughs> It's just it's because it's like it's like also a fuck you to yeah, no, yeah. conservatives, but it's like playing their game. Yeah, that's funny as fuck. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Yeah. yeah, Sean's out of here, dude. I'll see you guys next. Sean's time. gonna be out before we even close My this ass out. Fucking hurts. Uh, we got to get him a little uh, like hemorrhoid pad no, or something. I need to get a new chair for a little this hemorrhoid room. donut. You get a new butt, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Just get a, just sit on the silica gel pillows. Thanks for watching episode ninety nine. Ninety nine. See Later, ya, fam. Later. Debuff is hosted by me, Steve Skeels, edited and mixed by Mason Carlton. Follow us on Instagram at debuffpod. That's debuff pod. That's D Buff P O D. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next one.